In this video, I want to introduce you to the topic of markup, messages, and variables, and how Equid uses them in both email notifications and invoices. Email notifications and invoices are available on every Equid plan, but if you want to be able to edit the messages that are sent, well, you'll need a venture or higher plan. All right, now let's take a look. I'm editing the order confirmation email template here, and I want to point out three things. Number one, markup. The text here in blue, green, and red is called markup. These are rules that tell the email client how to display the text in the email, font color, size, padding, and more. You can change the markup rules if you want to change the layout and design of your email. It's beyond the scope of this video to teach you how to edit all of this HTML or markup, but if you know some basic HTML structure, well then you'll notice that this is a table with a row and a cell and a table embedded with a row and a cell and a table embedded with a row and a cell and another cell and that is your header. Now, uh, now this HTML is really standard. There are a lot of classes that are included as well as a lot of styles throughout. If you scroll down through this file, you'll see that this is a series of embedded tables. And you'll see that they are embedded quite deeply. Creating emails that are attractive on every platform and every client is really hard to do. And so Equid has taken the correct approach of using embedded tables. Secondly, messages. When you scroll through any of these files, you're going to see at rosetta.message with a key and sometimes parameters. You'll see it here, and you're going to see it here at rosetta.message key equals order confirmation dot title. These messages are rendered as plain text in an email. These are templated messages that cannot be changed by you as an end user of Equid, but it makes it incredibly simple to use what Equid has provided in a variety of places. You can quickly preview the template. So when I see the words order confirmation, that's coming from the rosetta.message key equals order confirmation title. Here's another Rosetta message at rosetta.message key is order confirmation customer greeting with the parameters of customer name. Here it is, hello, John Darling. Once again, you're going to see some conditionals and some messages brought together here. Now, this brings me to the third key part of templates. This is actually a variable. Variables are placeholders that are replaced in the email with the actual information from either the order details, such as customer name, list of products, etc., or from the store information, like store name or contact info. For example, you can see variables like $store.name or customer.name. As you can guess by their names, they'll be replaced in email notifications with the store name taken from your store profile and with the customer name taken from the order details. Over on the Equid Help pages, every variable that's available to you is listed here with the variable name and what it does. So, very quickly, three key words here, markup, messages, and variables. All of the email templates and invoice templates use a combination of straight HTML, markup, messages, which is always previewed with the at Rosetta, and then variables. That can be set with a condition that says, if something is true, print this. If something is not true, print something else. Scrolling down to give you another example of this, if the order is pickup, then include that table row with that order pickup information. If the order has a pickup time, include that row. And if it's not a pickup, well, include these rows with another conditional that says if shipping's required and we have a shipping address, well then order confirmation.shipping.address underscore prefix 
and order.shippingaddress.name. Again, this is a variable. All right, with those definitions, in the next video, we'll talk about how to edit these templates to get what you want.